About a week ago, I abandoned Google Chrome, and you should too. You're watching a tech video, you like tech, you probably need a .tech domain. Head over to get.tech to get your very own .tech domain name. .tech has crossed over 190,000 domain registrations. They've got the big guys like ces.tech, viacom.tech, and there's plenty of startups on there like impact.tech and source.tech. If you're looking for a domain name for your startup, if you're a vlogger, or just a technology enthusiast in general, head on over there. If you use the coupon code TECHSYNDICATE, you'll get one year for $4.99 or five years for $24.99. That is a 90% savings. Thanks to the team at .tech for sponsoring this video and be sure to thank them for the 90% discount. The new Google Chrome theme and the new look and feel really turned me off. All that bubbly nonsense. I felt like we were sucked back in time to when Web 2.0 was cool. Google, it's not cool. Google started doing this thing with Chrome where when you log into your Gmail account, it will log you into the browser and it won't say anything to you. So even if you did not want to log into the browser, it will log you in. Also, if you go and try to clear your history and your cookies, Google does not delete its own cookies. It deletes all the other cookies and stuff, but it says, don't worry, we'll still keep you logged into the browser. And that's because Google wants to be able to follow you everywhere you go on the internet. And that puts a weird taste in some people's mouths. Some people don't care. They're like, whatever, privacy's dead. Google, look at look at all my stuff. Look at my hentai. Look at my muffin recipes. Look at me sending fr pictures to my friends, whatever. Chromium's the heart of Google. Google took the open source Chromium, added their own Google bubbliness on top and made Chrome. And then Vivaldi took Chromium and just put more options and put some more stuff and then said, hey, let's make this modern. And then you have the new Vivaldi browser, which I really like. And while Firefox may still be my number one, this is my number one as well. Look how beautiful this is. This is Vivaldi. There's a lot of features in this browser that I wish every other browser had, and it kind of makes me scratch my head and wonder why in 2018 all the other browsers don't have that. So before you customize uh, Vivaldi, you're going to want to import all your stuff from another browser, right? Well, it's really, really easy. You just click up here in the top. It may be a V. It may be the menu button, depending on your theme. And then you go down to import bookmarks and settings. Pick your browser. You'll have to uh, make sure that that browser is closed. Start import. It'll import all your stuff. First off, the start page. So these are just links to other pages. A couple different speed dial tabs up here. You can create more. You can look at your bookmarks and history. And they allow you to set up your own thumbnail so you can give it the look and feel that you like. And you can configure the background and everything pretty easily just by bringing up the setting, going to start page. Now this also works with animated backgrounds. So you can grab yourself an animated background like that. There we go. How's that look? Might be a little bit busy. That's not too bad. So many good options here. Let me show you why Vivaldi is unique. So I've got a few tabs up here, right? Now I can just take these tags, drag them on top of each other, or I can control click and then right click and create a tab stack. So what that's done is it's stacked all three of these tabs underneath one tab. So I'm looking at these three things and I'm like, oh, this guy, he's been in a lot of different bands. But check this out. You can right click and I can tile these. Do you see that? It's inside one tab. I've just tiled all three of these so I can see all the bands that Eric Peterson has been in. Dragon Lord's awesome, by the way. If you want to uh, move out of that, you can just untile it. And then if you want to move out of that, you can ungroup the tab stack and it'll pop right back out. I feel like every modern browser should have that. Also, let's say you've got a lot of tabs open. Let's get let's get a few open here. So we got all these tabs open, right? And I'm just, I just forgot which one it was that I was looking at, right? Which one was it? I was over here buying a mouse, wasn't I? I, I don't remember. I think I was over here. Well, if you get lost, you can just pull this down and now you can see all the thumbnails right up there on top. Really easy to navigate. All right, let's get under the hood even further, shall we? I just hit F4 to bring up the little sidebar here. It's got, you know, our bookmarks. There's a list of all our downloads over there. Really easy to manage. And by the way, the downloads have a pause button. Thank you very much, Vivaldi. You can create a new note. You can add attachments. You can add screenshots. You can even take a screenshot right in the browser without having to download an extension or a plugin. So let's say you're also just wanting you know, quick access to a window. You can bring this up here and these are all your tabs and you can even browse to look at your recently closed tabs. If you just close something, you're like, what was it down there that I closed? Well, you can browse through that. Now I'm on Twitter and uh, let's say I want to check this frequently. I can just right click on the page anywhere and add to web panel. What that's done is it's made a little panel over here on the side that I can toggle. So no matter what page I'm on, let's say I'm over here on this page. Hey, there's that panel. And I also use the F4 hotkey to just toggle this on and off. So just go and check out what's going on over here on Twitter. Let's say I want to do one for uh, Tax Syndicate. The other way you can do it is you can just press the plus button right here. Whatever page you're on, it'll come up or you can enter any page you like. And uh, that's a good one. Push enter, pop up anywhere. 
That is a really useful feature. Let me show you something else that's really handy. So let's say I'm just hanging out on a page over here. You can press F2 and bring up this like universal search tool. This will search not only the internet, but it'll also search your open tabs, your bookmarks, and the page. So let's just search for a mouse. All right, so we got uh, gamepad mouse and Unreal templates in my bookmarks. Got the Phoenix Swift mouse here in my history that I've recently had open. Uh, or I could just search for that on Google. Let's try something that uh, like Dragonlord. Oh, well, I happen to have a tab open right here that is Dragon Lord. I can search Google, but I can just click on this if I needed to get back to the tab. So if you're trying to quickly like get back to a tab that you had open or something you recently had open in your history, just hit F2 and search for it. It's so much easier than most of the alternatives out there. Also, there's a little toolbar here on the bottom that you can toggle. Now the toolbar on the bottom has some really cool built-in features. Uh, for instance, you can capture the page, you can do the full page capture, or you can do a selection, PNG, JPEG, whatever. Hit select area. There we go, you just hit save. It'll save it right into your pictures of Vivaldi captures folder, so that's really easy. Also down here on the bottom, uh, you have the ability to toggle your images on and off. You can have them show up from cache or whatever. If you're just trying to save some space or don't want all kinds of junk loading up all the time, got plenty of page actions down here. You can see, add filters and all that stuff on top. So that's really handy, really easy to use, and you can set up a hotkey to make it pop up and go away. Got your zoom down here. That's just the same as control and scroll. And then this, this has just been added. It's the Vivaldi sync based upon the Chromium's syncing feature. Let you sync your bookmarks and settings and everything uh, between different browser installations. They don't have this available for mobile yet, but right now you can just sync it between your different desktop devices, your laptops, whatever. Let's go through these uh, options here and get a little nerdy. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna use the start page. I really like their start page uh, quite a bit, but you can set how it starts up. Uh, the appearance is pretty self-explanatory. This is the background there. And then your themes. Now the themes in this are really cool. Save you from having to go and download tons of themes from like the Chrome Web Store or whatever. Several different themes here to choose from. I tend to go for the darker themes and I've created my own theme. In order to edit these themes, you just click right here on the edit theme and then you can pick your color and your accent color corner rounding. Hey, it's starting to look a little bit too much like Chrome for my taste. Now, accent color from the active page will change the accent color on the top as you're changing the different pages. See, see there how it's doing that? It's a little weird in my opinion. So I keep that off because I find it a little bit over the top. You can also set it to do your color of your window, but yeah, I don't mess with any of that stuff. Transparent tabs, yes, why not? So down here, you can uh, set different themes for different times of day. If you have a lot of you know, sunlight coming in and you need a brighter theme for certain times of day, well, you can schedule that. But I like to just keep the same theme all the time. Also, you can sync this up with the Philips Hue tabs. So you can have your tabs on top, put them on the left. Right there they all are, right, or the bottom. And then just options for the way all the tabs and everything work. Panel, this is over on the left side here, this panel. But if you wanted to, you can have the panel show up on the right side, you know, whatever. So bookmarks bar, uh, some people like it, some people hate it. It's up to you. Uh, I'm using my bookmarks bar and I'm just using the same toolbar I've imported from Firefox. So it's all showing up there nicely. Let's take a look at these keyboard shortcuts. You've got a, a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Let's scroll down and show you a few of them. I've set up a few to toggle different views and stuff. You've got, you know, all kinds of keyboard shortcuts. Not really much to uh, desire there. If you like mouse gestures, you can set those up here. Set up your uh, favorite search. Let's see what we got. DuckDuckGo should be my, I'll put it as my default as well. So here are a few uh, privacy tools. You guys can download some extra extensions for that as well, but this will get you started. Now, let me tell you a few things that I don't like about it so far. You can't really drag a tab out like that. It doesn't really work. So I would have to like, in order to do this correctly, you need to drag a tab off of the window. Even then that doesn't work. So you gotta drag a tab to your empty desktop somewhere. So yeah, it's a little difficult when it comes to, uh, to dragging tabs out. It's not quite as easy when you compare that to um, you know Chrome, being able to just drag tabs around. This is so much more fluid. So Vivaldi, this should be your next thing, being able to just drag tabs wherever you like them. Here, throw it back up there. Dragging tabs around is not the easiest thing in Vivaldi. Another thing that's weird, uh, something I use quite frequently, I like to uh, come down and just like grab some text, right? I wanna search for this text, so I'll just drag it up here and drop it, but it won't let me do anything. So that doesn't work. You can't just drag stuff up here. You can drag it to the URL bar, 
And that works, you know, and just hit enter and then you can search for whatever the hell I just searched for. I'm used to dragging it up to the top. It's a very, very minor gripe. The other thing you can do that's kind of cool is you can just right click and then search with, pick your favorite search or just do your search. But you know, search with, uh, search with quiet because I don't even know what I'm searching for. If you guys want some further customization, I'm gonna recommend uh, LipSurf. This is actually made by someone uh, on our Discord. He jumped in there and said, hey, well, he's not from our Discord. He's from somewhere else, but he popped into our Discord and said, check this out. It's basically a bunch of verbal commands that allow you to navigate around uh, various different websites. And it's not just for Reddit, but it does really work well with Reddit. So you can check that out if you like. So there it is, Vivaldi, the absolutely most customizable browser out there. Also, when you're just you know inspecting stuff, you can bring up the dark uh, utility. This is the Chromium Inspector right over here. In my opinion, Firefox has the daddy of all inspectors. Here's the Firefox Inspector, and this also has a dark theme. But yeah, this one is just so easy to use and uh, so detailed. Everything, I mean, it works in, in, in Chromium, it works in Vivaldi, it works in Chrome. But Firefox is still absolutely number one, in my opinion, when it comes to uh, development. And Firefox is still a little bit faster. Vivaldi does slow down just a little bit because there's so much going on over here. Um, it's, it's definitely fast enough for uh, most modern computers. If you have a laptop, you may not want to run so many things at the same time, not have so many tabs at the same time. But all in all, um, is this, what browser am I on right now? Why did my theme change? Dark isn't dark enough. If you guys are looking for all these dark themes, I'm using Stylus. That's an extension. You guys can just use the, the Chrome uh, store. And then I will make available all of my Stylus presets. So you guys can just download and install them. If you like dark presets, you'll be happy. The Twitter dark wasn't dark enough. Dark is never dark enough. So I've made them even darker. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, let us know if you want to see any other browsers. This one right now is easily my favorite chromium browser once they fix a couple things with being able to move tabs and that sort of thing uh, it'll easily be my favorite browser for daily use well that is unless firefox decides to just go ahead and add all these cool features you see in vivaldi but vivaldi feels like uh, a really well thought out modern browser so let us know what you think and we'll see you in the comments you need to go to amazon.com search for finnick and that'll bring you some awesome stuff that doesn't require all kinds of ridiculous software uh, 3360 sensor right here. Go and grab yourself one of those and be happy forever. It's also available on epicpants.com. We've got plenty of t-shirts and stuff here. So be sure to check out all the cool stuff that's on both of these websites. Amazon, we did go all the way for Prime. So you guys will get the two-day shipping and it'll be free. Check it out.